What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, past and side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all my new subscribers. We're like 14,510 or something like that. So thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to book a personal, the information is in the description box below. Um, you have to text me. And um, there's a slots for um, availability. So just let everybody know, okay? Um, and you don't pay until we agree. That too, okay? All right. So, um... I love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do, who. Um, I received a channeling, so I'm going to do it. I might do some sign readings tonight, possibly. Um, we'll see, okay? Okay. Um, and I have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang. Hashtag capital L-E-O-G-A-N-G exclamation point. If anybody's interested in that channel, um, it's a Leo aspected channel. And then cross watchers are welcome as well if you're interested. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, uh, cover up and hush money um, that uh, I heard was given out from the police in the past in a particular city. Uh, in a particular city, um, is being collected, and soon authorities are about to uh, help in a huge way. Very serious crimes in the past. That's what I heard. <laughs> So that's all I heard. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, a particular city gave out hush money to a person or people or situation or what have you, what have you. They gave out hush money to, it sounds like the police did, like dirty police precinct or dirty police people or whoever, whoever uh, gave out hush money to either one person, two people or two plus people um, or a group or what have you, what have you. In a particular city in this area, but I heard soon um, it's it's there. It sounds like they're in the process of collecting it now, or they're about to be. And soon the authorities haven't come in yet. I heard the authorities are about to come in and help in a huge way. Doesn't sound like they've gotten there yet, but probably because they want to collect all the hush money first, um, cover up hush money. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, man. That's strong. That's strong. <laughs> So you plug it in, how it resonates. But it sounds like they're um, going to help a situation. I heard serious crimes there in the past. So, uh, you know, it could have been, uh, it could have been bank fraud, embezzlement, extortion, um, fraud, uh, what have you, what have you. Um, poor, a forged POA. I mean, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I mean, the list could go on, man. The list could go on. So whatever, I guess, whatever the police gave hush money to citizen or citizens for. Um, and however that resonates and applies. I was pulling in a lot of money laundering in banks. I mean, so, you know, you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages here. Three of Pentacles, Spirit Messages here. Four of Wands reversed. Spirit Messages you have for Collective. Spirit Messages, okay. The Hangwoman reversed. String. Someone pretty new to this police force and very high up in this police force is about to learn soon the real story on the past. This person is a light side individual. They're about to be 
shocked, they're about to be pissed, and they're about to help. Okay, so a fairly new person in this police force, I heard. So they haven't been in this police force very long. To me, it could be a masculine or feminine individual, whoever this person. They're um, pretty high up in the police force. So whatever pretty high up in the police force is, I don't work, I don't work in the police sector and never have been interested in working for the police. So I don't know what rank that would be, uh, sergeant or staff sergeant or chief of police or I don't know the rankings in police. So whatever that is for this person, I should say. It can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but I heard they're fairly new to this police force. But whatever the crap happened in this city, uh, city and I's urbanized area in the past, it apparently was pretty bad, so bad that hush money was um, given out. Cover up hush money was given out. But, um, but whatever this is, I heard they're about to learn about it. It's about to piss them off, and I heard they're about to help take some great action. They're about to have strength and take some great action here. Um, I think they might have helped. Um, oh, okay. They're going to feel fearlessness and free. Um, whoever this person is, I thought it was reversed. Um, and to have a lot of strength and take great action. I think they're going to uh, incorporate people to help them. Um, incorporate people to help them with whatever this is. I heard it was a very serious situation in the past. So much so that it incorporated hush money and cover-up money. I mean, that's pretty damn serious. I, I mean, I would want to live in a, a police precinct where they're giving out uh, hush money and cover-up money. I, did, I wouldn't feel safe as a citizen like that. And that's just the truth. I'm serious. We pay taxes every year for a reason. And it's to help support the police force. If anybody needs to hear that, that's one of the, one of Schools, police, many different things. Four of Wands reversed. Um, I think it has this, something to do with a home or a home situation or um, a huge cover-up. A huge cover-up is what I heard. A huge cover-up, something to do with a home. But we have Four of Wands reversed, so unhappy home situation regarding some kind of huge cover-up. Um, so much so, hush money and cover-up money was given out. Um, no enlightenment was cut, went to this very, uh, pretty high ranking officer of the law, but soon it's about to come energetically up. Enlightenment will come. I heard they're going to be shocked because it's reversed right now because it hasn't happened in energetic space, but this is upcoming in the energetic space. So once it becomes upcoming, it's going to turn it upright and they will become enlightened. I think it's this way because they have not enlightened yet, but. It, this is a prophetic message. It will up be uh, upcoming. It will, and it will turn it upright. So once it turns it upright, I heard they're going to be very uh, pissed. They're going to be very pissed about what happened, I think, to a family or a home in the past. Because we have four ones reversed. That's happy home, happy happy house, happy spouse kind of energy. It's reversed. So um, it's something to do with a home or a family situation or both of the past. They're about to have a lot of strength to help. I heard they're about to help. But they're fairly new to this police force. So they were not in the police force when all this was going on, I'm feeling. They most certainly were not. Okay, I heard they most certainly were not. So they most certainly were not. So that's confirmation. They most certainly were not. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's sad. Spirit messages, okay. Spirit messages you have a collective. A tourist prostitute that is about to be caught, very high level tourist prostitute that is about to be caught, is about to become very significant in this situation. Caught for prostitution in her city. Okay, I heard a tourist prostitute, um, that's about to be caught for prostitution in her city is about to become very significant in this situation. So somehow a tourist prostitute is about to become very significant in this situation. Um, it's a tourist prostitute. She prostitutes in a city and nice urbanized area. I'll tell you that. She can have tourists in any aspects of her charts. But she's about to be caught and that's about to become um, significant in this situation in some shape, form, or fashion. Eight of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles upright. Nine of Swords reversed.
You have been robbed in a huge, huge, huge way in the past. A huge way. Through many series of chain of events, you're about to get your money back. And it's a lot of it. A lot of it. Okay, I heard, wow. Well, and that makes sense because, man, we're pulling the 10 and the 8 of Pentacles. Somebody picked you clean if this resonates for you. They picked you freaking clean. 10 of Pentacles with the 8 of Pentacles. 18 Pentacles. They robbed you. That's a lot of freaking money. They picked you clean. 18 Pentacles. 10 of Pentacles is the biggest money card in this row. And then we have the 8. That's a lot of freaking money. They picked you clean, whoever you are. Um, and I heard through many series of chain events, it's about to, um, you're about to get it back. You will never have to worry about money. You will never have to worry about money. That's what I just heard. You will never have to worry about money. So whoever you are, I don't know if you're stressing about money right now or you um, live on a um, like income-based situation or paycheck to paycheck or you just watch what you spend um, for fear of money, um, of not having any money or what have you, what have you. But however this resonates, you're never going to have to worry about money again. And that's just the truth for real, for real. I mean, 18 of Pentacles, that's a lot of Pentacles. Unless, unless, unless you go out and you spend it and blow it on shoot stupid shit. If you blow it on stupid shit, then um, you will. I mean, and I say that because think of the guy Screech. The guy that used to play in Saved by the Bell, if you might know uh, the TV show Saved by the Bell. The guy that played in uh, the TV show Saved by the Bell, Screech. He was a rich little nerd, he was. A very cute, lovable little nerd on Saved by the Bell. He was actually my favorite on there. But I was a nerd growing up, so I could relate with him. But my point is, he was a very rich little nerd by the end of that. He was a very rich little nerd by the end of that. Because he made a lot of money off Saved by the Bell. But he chose to drag his life into drugs and crazy shit after Saved by the Bell. Like, crazy shit. And he and he's very open and public about it on um, a, do a documentary he did. But my point is, that's how I learned all this. But my point is, is he did made very bad investments. Very bad investments. He ended up losing almost all his fortune. I mean... He ended up in jail, almost lost all his fortune. I mean, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. He went almost back down to, like, poverty, like nothing, because of all the bad choices he made. And like I said, he ended up in jail at least once, if not more than once. And that's just the truth. So you can acquire a great fortune, but you have to invest it properly is what I'm trying to say. You have to invest it properly. You have to build it and grow it and foster it like a wonderful little garden. Because if you don't, you can, and you end up in drugs and jail and um, money laundering and fraud and embezzlement and um, crimes like drug dealer mafia style shit. You end up in jail. You end up getting caught. You don't want to end up like Screech is what I'm trying to say. So you need, it's important to invest it properly is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Whoever this is for. You're not going to have any stress, anxiety, worry, fear. This is a beautiful spread right here, man. You're about to get 18 of Pentacles and no stress, anxiety, worry, fear. But I'm just expressing the fact you really need to invest it properly. Because if you don't invest it properly, you could end up like Screech on Saved by the Bell, if you might need to hear that. You can look up his documentary and, and view it. Um, I, I saw it on cable one day. Okay? True story. Your messages you have Scorpius. Six of Swords reversed, five of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands upright.
Now, Master Basin is about to get involved in this. Very talented, highly gifted Master Mason. Okay, I heard a very talented, very gifted Master Mason is about to get involved in this. So, I feel it could be masculine or feminine, Master Mason. I'll have to look that up. Um, I just heard Master Mason. So, whoever, you know who you are, Master Mason. If you're the Master Mason, Ma Ma I can't speak. The Master Mason about to get involved with this. Only you know who you are, sir, ma'am, not anybody else, okay? Let me look up Master Mason. Hopefully, you're going to get involved with this in a positive way, not a negative fashion. Oh, the Freemasons, obviously. If anybody doesn't know, George Washington and ben Benjamin Franklin were Master Masons. Definition of a Master Mason, a Mason thoroughly confident in his trade and usually in business on his own account. Usually capitalize both Mrs. A third degree of Freemasonry, compare Blue Lodge. A Freemason who has been raised to the third degree. That doesn't help me much, <laughs> except they're very they're very accomplished in business apparently, and probably have a have obtained and gained a lot of wealth over their years. Um, Master Masons perform degree and ritual work. He updates the lodge by laws as necessary. Oversees financial issues of the lodge as necessary. Okay. Um, so I heard a master mason is about to get involved with, well, involved with this. So whoever this master mason is and how that resonates. Um, six of swords reverse. No truth and clarity in the past. Five of pentacles reverse. Obviously this person is not left out in the cold. I feel they're very good with money or they have a lot of money. Um, I feel they're a, a business owner. Um, if they are a business owner, I feel very successful. And I feel they probably have a lot of generational wealth. And I'm just being serious. So they have a lot of generational wealth, whoever they are. Uh, they're about to stand up for this situation, hopefully in a positive manner. Um, whoever this Master Mason is, I did hear Master Mason. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to pull a couple tea leaves. Spirit messages you have for collective. An Aquarius feminine is about to get kicked out of the Mason soon. She is about to be shocked as hell. Okay. Um, whoever this person is, uh, Aquarius fem, older Aquarius feminine, a grandmother. Okay, I heard an older Aquarius fem, a grandmother. So it's an older Aquarius feminine. She's part of the masonry. Um, whoever she is. Um, when I was reading that little clip about master masons, every single it said he, 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 he. Which I know we're in 2022. I'm sure probably females could probably join, but I'm presuming, especially in most uh, backwood, uh, outdated belief system places, they pro it's probably all of he, probably. But I'm presuming, 
hopefully in 2022 it's all inclusive. I would hope females could join, but I don't know. I'm not familiar with the Masons or their customs or rituals or what have you, what have you. Um, but um, apparently there is one Aquarius feminine that's a part of Masons. I'll tell you that. She is a part of the Masons. I heard through many serious changes. She's about to get kicked out. I heard she's a grandmother. Um, and she's an older Aquarius fem, so, and she would have to be, be a grandmother, I'm presuming, so, 35, 36 or above, but probably much older than that in some of these situations, um, she is Aquarius fem, she could have Aquarius in any aspects of her charts, and apparently she's part of the Masons, and she's about to get kicked out, um, it is about to piss her off, okay, I heard it's about to piss her off, it's about to piss her off, so, Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Whale, great worry over nothing. Someone is about to find out about a pregnancy soon. They're going to try to rub it in, but don't let it get to you. Okay, I heard someone's about to try to, uh, someone's about to find out about a pregnancy soon. But I heard don't, don't let it get to you, um. Don't let it get to you that um, it, basically uh, whoever the crap is pregnant here. I think they were, I think somebody was trying to trap somebody. Well, no, no. I don't think somebody was trying to surprise somebody with a kid in this situation. I think somebody's trying to rub in the fact that they're pregnant to somebody to try to make somebody jealous is what I think. Because um, I have seen people try to trap people with pregnancies. I have. Uh, my older sister um, intentionally poked holes in condoms with her uh, current husband, to my knowledge, they're still married. Hell, I haven't spoke to her in many years. She accused me of child abuse in the court of law. There ain't no damn way I'd ever want to speak to that crazy people again, and that's just the truth. But, um, but she poked holes. I know she did. I was at her house in Madison when she did the shit. When he came down from Canada, went back when he lived in Canada, before he moved down here, she poked holes in the condom hoping she would get pregnant. And let me tell you, she got pregnant. It worked. And that's the truth. True story. So, this this is not a trapping. This is not a trapping of pregnancy. I have seen that shit happen. I've seen her do that shit. I've seen it. This is not trapping, but this is like somebody that gets pregnant and it sounds like it for some of you guys i think you might have been with this person romantically in the past or it could be your ex-girlfriend or ex-boy oh well ex-girlfriend or ex-baby mama or ex-wife or ex-somebody or somebody you wanted to be romantically connected to how that resonates and applies but um but how that resonates i think it's showing off the pregnancy oh i'm look i'm pregnant i'm four months along i'm six months along but it's to make it you jealous it's to make you jealous that they're pregnant um a jealousy thing wow i have some shit <laughs> the intent is definitely jealous jealousy but it's about to backfire. Ooh, that's confirmation. I heard the intent was definite, definite jealousy, but it's about to backfire. So, um, yeah, somebody's pregnant in here. But I feel for whoever you guys are, you could be the Master Mason. You could be this new uh, officer in this new police precinct. You could be somebody else in here. If you connect and fit in this situation, you have to play yourself and refit. But how that resonates, um, somebody's pregnant in here. 
But I think they want to show it off, the baby bump, to make to I heard jealousy is was the intent to make somebody jealous. But I heard whoever you are that they're trying to make jealous, it's about to backfire. Somebody's definitely pregnant. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. It's a baby bump. It's a fetus, man. Just saying, just saying. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, I think, is a pregnant person in this situation. I didn't hear a sign on them. Whoever they are and how they apply it, it resonate in your life, you guys. Um, but well, I feel for a majority of you guys that resonate with these messages, I think you're masculine. And I'm just being for real. Maybe for some you're feminine, you're masculine. But I feel for a majority of you guys, you're masculine if you resonate with this. And a lot of you guys, I think you work for the police. And some, you're Master Masons. And, well, we have one Aquarius fam that's about to get kicked out of the masonry. So, how that resonates and applies. But there is definitely somebody pregnant in here. And for one of you guys, I think they, they want to show off their baby bump because they want to make you jealous. Whoever you are. And I'm just being for real. Taurus energy. Libra energy. Taurus and Libra energy is what I just heard. So Taurus and Libra, uh, maybe it's a Taurus or a Libra that's pregnant and showing off the baby bump, or I feel you could be a Taurus or Libra and they want to make you jealous, Taurus or Libra. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Heard Taurus and Libra, so energy is be reversed. So I feel either the Taurus and the Libra is the pregnant person wanting to show off their baby bump to sp strategically to make you jealous. Or the Taurus and the Libra could be you guys over here on this side, probably masculines or fems that likes fems. I don't judge. Um, that um, that they're showing the baby bump off to. So I feel you could either be the person they're trying to make jealous, Taurus or Libra, and have Taurus or Libra in any aspect of your chart, or the Taurus or the Libra could be the pregnant person. I there was an eighth and applies, but they're definitely going to be arrogant about it. Uh, I don't think they're going to come off like super arrogant, but they're definitely going to want to show. I mean, it's not like a mom fupa like mine, like my little fat as a mom. No, it's not like that. Like, I don't want to show off my mom fat. I'm trying to lose it. This is a real baby bump. And there's, they're really, I mean, like, they're going to be showing it around. Kind of like a woman that gets a boob job or liposuction and they want to show off their body. Kind of like that. Oh, man. I didn't hear anything else. Well, great worry over nothing. There's about to be a very alarming false, false call, false call, false alarm. Soon. It's going to be a false alarm. But it's going to scare the hell out of you at first. Okay, I heard there's going to be a very alarming false alarm, false call, false alarm. I heard it's going to scare the hell out of you at first. But it's going to be some kind of false call, false alarm if this resonates for you. So great worry over nothing, false call, false false alarm. So where, however that resonates for you, for some I definitely feel you work in the police, and I'm just being for real. One of you does for sure, for sure. But but for some it could be other things like maybe you're a firefighter, maybe you're uh, EMS, maybe you are uh, anything that false call or false alarm. Maybe for some you're a doctor. Uh, some of your nurse, um, you plug it in how it resonates with some kind of false call, false alarm energy. You could really be anything. Um, you could be a teacher and you're made, uh, just an example now. I'm not trying to wish this by anybody, but 
You could be a teacher and maybe you teach first grade and your ch uh, one of your students in your ch uh, class starts choking on some pretzels and you might have to give the hind one or think you might have to. Not wishing that upon anybody, any students in the classroom or any teachers, but I, I'm just saying, like, I, my son was like eight or nine years old. I had to give him the Heimlich maneuver right back there by my bat, by his bathroom, because there's two bathrooms in this house, by his bathroom. And it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I just happened to be looking at him. He got up to go to the bathroom, and he had a quarter. He had put a quarter in his mouth, and he swallowed it on accident, and he was starting to turn purple. And I just happened to look up as he was turning purple. So I ran up and drug him to the bathroom, his bathroom, and hind linked him and got and the quarter popped out into the toilet. True story. So, I mean, those kind of things happen is what I'm trying to say. It's just an example. But whatever the false call, false alarm is, it's going to be, it's false alarm. Okay? I'm just using that as an example. That is a true story for me. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. But you're going to be worried. It's going to be a false alarm. Whatever it is. And for one, it's going to be Braxton Hicks. Pregnant person. False alarm. And for one of you guys, it's going to be Braxton Hicks. Pregnant person, false alarm. So Braxton Hicks are basically false contractions for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, they're false contractions that people think, like, the females and the women that have them, um, they think they're going into labor because it feels like labor pains, labor contractions, like the real deal, but it's really not. It's called Braxton Hicks. Um, and so uh, one of you guys has knows a pregnant person in your life. Either you have impregnated somebody or you are pregnant or somebody you know is pregnant and they're about to have Braxton Hicks. And that could be the great worry over nothing, thinking they're really about to go into labor, but they're really not. They're Braxton Hicks. Okay. Okay, I think we're done. We're done. I'm going to close it out. Love you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media. Word of mouth. Love you guys so much. And I'm going to say.